This corner, they sent on their way from the 1200 metre marker. Double Espresso is the trailer early on. Frank Lloyd Wright, Kingston Rock with the red head gear. Brazil Nuts further back in the run. Goliath Herons in the orange on the right. Spider's Corner is about three and a half lengths off the leader. Frank Lloyd Wright, Ad Altissima, then comes Winter Chill. Behind that double espresso and Bold Horizons in the back seat, eight or nine lengths off the lead. Kingston Rock from Goliath Heron. Back in third is Brazil Nut. On the outside of that is Spider's Corner. And then comes Frank Lloyd Wright, Winter Chill. They are followed by Ad Altissima, Double Espresso, and Bold Horizons, the trailer. Top of the lane, just over 500 to go. Kingston Rock with the lead. Brazil Nut, Goliath Heron, Spider's Corner in the yellow coming through on the outside. Frank Lloyd Wright goes in and Ad Altissima needs some running room. Spider's Corner, Brazil Nut and Winter Chill becomes a runner on the outside. And Winter Chill's putting on all the pressure from Spider's Corner. It's Winter Chill and Spider's Corner. There's nothing in it. They get to the line. Winter Chill win it. Second Spider's Corner, then double. Espresso. Number four, Winter Chill, what a winter. Garth Puller, Lyle Hewitson will just prevail. Wins it by, well, it ends up about a head at the end. There's the what a winter. Lyle Hewitson second to the tote favourite. Number two, Spider's Corner. Third place to number ten, Double Espresso. And the fourth place, Ad Altissima. When I looked for Ad Altissima, just needed some running room. Frank Lloyd Wright, Brazil Nut, and then Goliath Heron. And further back in the run, Bold Horizon. So Ad Altissima is between runners, needs some running room. And the winner is three off the right. That is Winter Chill. But Spider's Corner in the middle of your picture, all seen the yellow silks, and they have a great struggle. And it's Spider's Corner and Winter Chill. They have a ding-dong deal down to the line, and Winter Chill wins it without the whip being required. It was just flung down the neck and ends up winning this. So Winter Chill number four at 360 wins it. Until the running of race six, back to the studio. Well, race five won by number four, Winter Chill, a son of water winter. Well done to... Uh, the estate of Royden Turner, the breeders, of course, uh, the owners as well. Well done to the estate late, uh, G, J, and C, Royden Turner. God Puller and Lyle Hulson team up, and a horse that continues is winning ways. Sfiso Jojo is a gentleman that takes care of this individual. Well done, Sfiso. A uh, thousand rand Hollywood bet and gold circle. The winning jockey is Lyle Hulson. Uh, a double for Lyle thus far in the meeting. And I'm sure that uh, Lyle, with all his travels around the country, he gets to know which are his favorite horses, and I'm certain this must be one of them. Of course, all horses and all winners are welcome, but you tend to build relationships with horses, and this horse you, you've built up a solid relationship with. Yeah, sure, he's, he's just such a gentleman, a, a cool dude. Um, he's just uh, such a pleasure to work with. He goes down nicely, moves well. Um, he's got a simple running style if you, if you get used to him, and... Um, he just makes it uh, a smooth run race for you. Uh, whether he get, wins or gets beat, um, you always feel like you're proud of him. So, yeah, when he wins, it's a cherry on the cake, and especially the way he's done it today, I'm very happy. You would have had a look at the field. Whilst this was a small field, there was a lot of speed in the race, and you just left him where he was comfortable. Yeah, we found that he's, he's best with cover. I mean, he doesn't have to come from last, but just covered up nicely and followed him through. Um, I had healthy respect for Spider's Corner. Of course, he's come to find me before, and then his win after that was, was very impressive. So I thought he's on the up, and he, he could have any amount of potential. So he was definitely the right horse to latch on to, to uh, take me through. And things worked out well, and I got on his back. Uh, I was always going well until I moved up to him, but put in a good fight. But I, I just love the fact that I didn't have to pull the stick, and this horse did it under his uh, own transgression. So very, very nice, and I'm happy with that win. In your last time out, you, you had the weights on your side, 53 on your back. Today, you were giving four kgs to Spider's Corner, and uh, the way he showed the heart and the guts to just keep his head in front over the final 200, I think Garth and his team can take a lot out of this performance. Yeah, I think what the, the team's done so well of lately, you see horses, they've been on the boil since uh, before lockdown, and they, they've just been doing so well right through. So, um, yeah, all the accolades go to them they've done a great job and it uh, makes my job a lot easier so i'm very grateful and uh, i love to to ride winners for the yard nice double thus far 
Thank, Thank you very, very much. much as well and to Mr. Pull and his team, as I mentioned, um, to the uh, Road and Turner family. Um, I know them from Polar Cross, so um, it's a pleasure riding them winners and well done. And uh, to my sponsor, Scooter, lovely double. Thank you very much. Well done. Winning jockey, Lyle Hewitson. Of course, uh, God, Puller, God. I, I firstly just want to touch on the form of the stable. You know, after COVID, a lot of stables needed uh, uh, runs with their horses. It was time, but uh, of late, you've just you're running and you're running fast. Yeah, you know, we were just lucky. The horses were in the right place. It's all about uh, it's all about being lucky. I mean, it's not it's not that you're so clever. You try and keep them happy. We all we were all off. We had horses that were had were, were down in the ratings and were well placed and. Um, and, and they got happy and they, and they started winning. This was, I must, I must thank uh, Sasha and Shelley and the late uh, Greg Royden Turner uh, for their patience. He's always shown me he's going to be a nice horse, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't push him. He'd have a few niggles and he's, he's come to himself. He won a nice race today. He fought off that horse nicely. Uh, Duncan's horse is a nice up and coming three year old. And uh, obviously, we've got the advantage of being a four year old in a, in a tussle like that. But don't write Duncan's horse off. I think he's a, uh, that's going to be a nice horse. And then. The, the third horse was mine as well, and that was a very good run from a 10 draw. He wasn't in the race, I scratched him, and then they phoned me and said, it's a small field, would you reinstate him? So I said, you know what, to save the race, I'll reinstate him. Knowing that at 54 he was a runner, because he's run with this horse a few times. Yes. And uh, they ran first and third, I'm very happy for, I'm very happy for Gerald Khalil. I must say thank you to my team at home, like you were saying, it's a, it's a team effort, it's Michael, it's Sam, she's just now going to move on to Luzon, but... It's Michael, Sam, it's, I've got a very good guy looking after the youngsters, Bishop, I've got Eric here. And uh, it's a whole team effort. The work riders, I've got uh, Eric and Gwani helping and Atandiwe Mahudra. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a big team effort and you've got to try and spread it out a little bit and try and work towards the weights to give the rides and the top boys in town, the guys want them on. But there's a chance now for the, for the local guys now, the, the, there's no traveling, so they've got to step up to the plate and, and uh, we're all on the same playing field. And then thanks to Hollywood for their support. Um, we, we, we really need it. It's a, been a big help. They've been a big a boost to racing in Natal. And uh, what more can I say? And then thanks to Kathy. She'll be back in the office on Monday to let the people know how they ran. And Wendy back at home. Well, uh, you said it all. Got any other runners left? I've got a runner um, for Elise Little um, uh, in, the, in the last race. Um, he's going to need it. He hasn't run since uh, April last year. Um, so he's, he's definitely going to need it, um, Benny Little's wife. Thanks for that, Garth, and uh, again, compliments to everybody concerned. Thank you. Well done. Garth Puller, GP, as he's known, number four, Winterchill, winning race number five.